Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday, uh, July 22nd. Excited to bring you guys a new episode of Garage Devotionals. So today we're going to be looking at time. Time is the only resource that is in this world that's non-renewable. Uh, you can make more money. You can find more oil. You can, um, all those other things, um, you can get back. But once your time is gone, it's gone. So we need to be very careful about the way we manage our time. So yes, we're talking about time management. Now, yes, I understand that's probably kind of a boring topic for a lot of people, but that's what we're going to talk about because it's important to God. So um, with time, uh, no man or woman is made more rich or more poor um, with, um, with time. There's the um, same number of hours in every day for every body. Um, there's no difference. Um, and, and, but you see some people who are very, um, they have lots of time. Uh, and other people who have similar commitments are completely rushed and out of time all the time. They never can catch up. Uh, with every minute of every day, we're either investing that time or we're wasting our time. Um, there's no neutral zone. There's no kind of halfway one, halfway the other. Either you're investing your time or you're wasting your time. Even when we're sitting and doing nothing, we can be either wasting that time by being lazy or investing that time in rest, which is a biblical command. God wants us to take a rest. That's why he created the Sabbath. So, um, sitting and watching TV or playing video games or sitting outside and drinking tea, reading a book, all those things are okay and even a biblical command as long as it's used as rest to recharge your battery to do more of what God has for you. Because he knows we're not infinite. We're not like him um, in that way. So um, that's a good thing to understand. If you're tired, exhausted, worn out, all the time is it because you have too much wasted time uh, and your heart mind and spirit know the truth if so how do you realign your time to be more intentional with it first thing we have to ask is when we're doing something where are you investing that time are you investing it in a passion are you investing it in a project are you investing it in uh, a person if you're investing that time in one of those three things, you're probably not wasting your time. Uh, in this investment, where and when is someone going to win with what you are bringing to the table? So, um, where's the win? You know, where's the win in uh, doing the thing that you're doing? Uh, uh, where am I wasting time, energy, and money, and no one is going to win? very important we have to understand where we're investing our time so what we need to do is make a list of all of the things that take up your time and really take a look at it and try to figure out like this is something I can cut out this is something I need to spend more time on um, and figure out where that what that looks like and then we need to take that list to Christ we need to pray about it we need to ask Jesus to give us an understanding of our time, better ways to use it. Um, we take a look at Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3, starting in verse 1. It says, For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck it up, pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So there's a time for everything. In our lives, everything that we encounter, everything that we choose to put our time in, there's a time for that. Just make sure you're using the right amount of time for those things.
Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.